Here we are in the past. I have a peacock from the future. That seems like it's time travel cheating. I'm using an item from the future in the past. How is that possible? It can't be the same peacock, can it? I don't know. Anyway, there's a thread over here by this statue, and we're going to use the thread over by these footprints to get a key. The key opens up this thing near the knife. That gives us a token. We, we, we need a token to open up that one. We need a token to open up that one. This is dirty. Only a wet rag can help. So let's go inside. Wow, in the past, the castle sure does look different. Okay, morphing objects, mouse and mouse found those here on the bag you want to click on all these tiles and then use the tile we found outside and put it into place this is a puzzle you want to swap all the tokens so they are all gold colored this is simple because the middle one's a different color than the others so here's the trick just click on all of the outside ones just go counterclockwise from anywhere one two three four five six seven eight you could go clockwise or counterclockwise. Doesn't really matter, just as long as you go around the circle one by one. Okay, so Fairy Godmother is asleep, unfortunately. We are going to have to wake her up, and we need fingerprints to open up that. This is locked, but it has the emblem that I need. Okay, so I'll use the emblem on the bag. Giving me some glue. We'll use glue to fix this. Now that the statue is working, I can dip the rag in the fountain. It's wet. I use the wet rag to clean this off. I copy it on to my inkwell and go back inside. So here I'm going to use my knife to cut off the tassel for a hidden objects challenge. What you want to do is take these things in the foreground and put them in the background. Like I use the crown on the prince and I use the shoe on this woman's bare foot is the wing on her costume. This woman likes green ribbons, so we're giving her an extra one. This woman likes... Uh, this woman needs a purple mask, and she likes purple ribbons, so I'm giving her a purple ribbon. Let's see, this man clearly needs some piano sheet music. She needs a, a bracelet. He needs a, a little bow tie. A fox goes on his watch. She needs a tiara. Where is a barrette? I guess... I have no idea where this goes. Um, in her hair? May no, her hair. There we go. Did it. Okay, so that gives us the door part. Put the door parts into place and use the code. Just swap them around so they match the pictures. So owl, bear, wolf, and slightly less angry wolf. <laughs> they both look very angry. And guess what? There's past Cinderella. That is Cinderella in the past. Here's a mouse. Uh, there's a morphing object. And there's the other mouse. What's happening? Why has time stopped? Is it because of the girl with the crystals? She's you from the future, Cindy! That can't be me. I'd never turn into that. But if you're against her, I'll help you. I don't know any magic, but I have a feeling the wand will listen to me. Sweet. So we're using past Cinderella to destroy future Cinderella. It's awesome. And we have another hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. You want to find everything uh, at the bottom of the screen. So hey, berries. And uh, a watch. And then whatever that guy was wearing. And then a top hat. And then angel wings. And then a cat. And it looks like we have the purse. And the flag in the background, and that ugly, ugly rug. Why, why did you have that rug as part of the ball? I don't know. Uh, the thing we put in her hair, we're taking it back. It looks terrible. And uh, uh, this umbrella, and I don't know what she was wearing there. Some tie or something. Okay, so we found the, the handle. The handle opens up this carriage. Gives us a lighter. We're going to use the lighter over here to burn that. We need to open this gift. So use the tassel to get yourself some powder. Use the powder here and the tassel. I cleans that off. I found a girl with whom I want to live forever. I need to find her. Find a girl who possesses the crystal slipper. Prince. I will help you destroy the magic of crystal. So, 
what does the prince have to say? What happened to him? This is the prince's tear. Cinderella's beloved. Deceived and manipulated. I can use his tear. Soon after the wedding, the prince realized that he had been tricked. And he suspected Amalia and the fairy godmother. The evil stepmother poisoned the prince, making Amalia the queen regent. The slippers became a relic of the royal family. A new tradition began. The ceremony of the crystal slippers. Every future queen had to try on the slippers before her wedding. Until the day that the maid broke the fake slippers, the real crystal slippers were found, and Cinderella's evil spirit was released. This will help you wake the fairy godmother. Alright, so... I will be waiting. That's the end of the story. Let's wake up fairy godmother. If you're here, then evil has won. It's my fault. Cinderella wasn't evil, and I was only trying to protect the kingdom. Today is the day it happens. Time will stop again in a few seconds. Take my magic wand and find her. Only a sorceress can use it. And hey, future Cinderella is a sorceress, so I guess past Cinderella can use magic. Cinderella, use this wand to defeat yourself. Stop! I won't let you! Listen to yourself. You want this. I am not you! You can't do anything. You're too weak. Janet, help me! Okay, so this is a, a puzzle. What you want to do is uh, move your crowns all over the board and capture, capture the various uh, crystals. So one way to do it is just random luck. Just, just keep moving your crowns all over the board and hopefully the crystals don't turn all of your things into crowns. And eventually the board will be completely filled and you hope that by the end, by the end of this, uh, you'll have more crowns than crystals. It's actually kind of simple. Uh, another technique is to move just to bait the enemy. So move like one or two away from the enemy. Usually two away. Yeah, yeah, I was only one away from the enemy. So the enemy was able to take care of a bunch of things. That's sad. Oh no! Okay, so this is usually what happens whenever I try this challenge. I get one, and the enemy gets like four. Like four! Okay, so we're going to try again, and I'll show you uh, the real strategy. Okay, so you start by getting rid of this one on the right. Now notice we have two crystals on the left. Instead of moving, uh, you know, one away, I'm moving one left. That way I'm exactly two away. That way the enemy can't take both of my things. It only takes one of them. And I can, on the next turn, move like this and destroy the one that just got moved. Same exact thing. I was two away, so the enemy moved to, into place. Means on the next turn, I can destroy the one that got moved. We're good. We're gonna do the same strategy here. So I'm gonna make sure there's a two gap between me and the enemy. I'm baiting the enemy into going right. Next turn, totally destroy the enemy. And notice I'm two away from the enemy there. So now on this uh, next turn, I should be able to bait the enemy. Oh my gosh, let's hope this works and I, I did not get myself caught in, in like a never-ending uh, circle of defeat. Oh dear, oh dear, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I think I got myself caught in the never-ending circle of defeat. Very sad. We'll try this again, we'll try this again. Same strategy though. Move this one right. This thing one left. This one below them. That one's gonna go right. And then this one below them. So let's see if I can get this correct. This one, one left. I'll go below them. So that way this piece goes one left. And then I, I mean it goes to right. And I usually destroy it. There you go. Is that you? Yes. 
We still need to go back. I'll open a portal to take you back. I'm sorry that I caused so much trouble for the kingdom. I'll take my punishment. Okay, so I do want to note that um, if you take the same moves every time on that puzzle, the other character will make the exact same moves every time. It's, it's programmed that way. And Cinderella, you don't deserve punishment. Your future self did evil things. You didn't do evil things. You helped, you helped stop the evil things. Anna, I lost my love. But it's not too late for you. Live happily, and know that I'll never harm the kingdom again. I accept my fate. Grab her! Yeah, we can't let her suffer. Cinderella, you're coming with us! You're coming to the future! That sort of undoes all the evil stuff that Cinderella evil Cinderella is did. In the future. Ready to start over with a clean slate. Yeah. We're just going to change the future that way. Ah, but there is the matter of uh, Fairy Godmother. Fairy Godmother, here's your wand back. Now, the start of the Crystal Slippers ceremony. Anna, will you marry me? Yes, of course. Yay! So, we beat the game, unlocking the bonus game! So, I am playing the Collector's Edition of this game, which comes with the bonus game. And you can check it out under the Extras menu. I will be playing the bonus game in the following uh, several videos. Uh, let's check out some of these other things. So collections, huh? Oh, so it looks like we get mice for collecting those mice everywhere. Oh, that's kind of cool. Looks like we still need uh, a few more mice. So we've got about 16 more mice to find. So that shouldn't be too tough. And achievements. Well, it looks like we, uh, well, we still got some puzzles, like, we, we've still got some puzzles to solve in the bonus game, so I haven't solved all the achievements I involving finding all the mice and finding all the morphing objects and solving all of the puzzles, but I did get all these achievements, you know. Finding, uh, hidden objects in a lot of time, finding all, solving all the hidden objects puzzles in three minutes each. Hmm, I wonder if I, I can do that. Uh, don't skip every single scene of the game. Good, good. And then these are just all the achievements you get naturally while beating the game. So th those occur while you're beating the game. Screen savers. Cool, I guess. Mini games, if you wanted to solve any of them again. This is how you would do it. This is how you would do it. I didn't show everything off. Uh, and the concept art. I really like concept art when you can just move your mouse over. It's like, oh, hey, here's how things change. Wow, there was a burning person on fire. Ugh. Wow, that, that looks nasty. No wonder they got rid of that. Okay, that looks basically the same. Cool. Hmm. That sort of changed. Wow, that changed almost entirely. Wow, wow, wow. That's basically the same, yeah. Okay, so these, these are the various characters. So Cinderella and Anna. Uh, the butler and the, the prince. Fairy Godmother used to be quite older. Oh, it looks like the queen aged up a bit too. Huh, so that's all the, the concept art. Hey, hey, and hidden objects. Okay, so it looks like some of the hidden objects scenes I have not done yet. One, two, three, four, five, six... Six in an objects challenges. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess that answers the question of hey, how many hidden objects challenges do, do do I have left in order to get in order to get that achievement? So yeah, yeah, there are definitely five more hidden objects challenges which I can solve in three minutes each. Whew. Oh boy. And movies. You can you can rewatch uh, the various cutscenes of the game, like hmm. being attacked by evil squirrel. Perfect. Right on time. Right on time to be attacked by an evil squirrel. Ah! Hey, that's mine! 
clearly a scene that you would want to watch over and over and over again. Am I right? <laughs> ah.